Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello. <laughs> What's up everybody? We're back here again in our tutorial world about to do something real, real cool. I love this building. This building came out really super awesome. But if you guys want to check out any of the previous builds behind us, we got always links in the description. Go check it out. There's a bunch of cool stuff down there. And we're also using our boy Germs and Boys Texture Pack. If you guys want to check that out, there's also links down there in the description. Download it. Play with it. Have fun. But today, we're going to be doing a really, really, really cool, uh, really, really cool I love this house. This house is very, 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 very cool medieval style house. It's a little more than starter. We're going up another level, another notch. It's just a little. It's, it's not too complicated, but it looks very, very cool. Uh, but it's maybe in, uh, intermediate. Is that a good word for it? No, I don't know. We'll see. I didn't do any interior, so uh, we're just going to do the building itself. But hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this. Here it is in front of me. And... Bam! There it is. <laughs> Look how cool. Let's take a little spin. Oh, man. This is pretty cool. I like the way this one came out. Oh, we got a little bushy bush action on the outside. A lot of different interesting sides. Everything is all completely different, uh, but it's so cool. I love it. Look at this. What do you guys think of that? Oh, man. Let's go. Let's get this started. I, I love this building. So, these are the dimensions we're going to be working with right here. So, take a screenshot. Take a pause. There it is. Lay that out as your foundation, and then I'll go and build it right now with you guys. Okay. There you go. So, this is going to what the... Uh, we're going to be using as far as materials. So, we're going to be using some cobblestone, some cobblestone stairs, some stone stairs, stone bricks, some uh, dark oak wood, uh, the actual log, some dark oak uh, stairs, some bone block, and a couple bricks. Uh, and then we're going to bring some couple things down there. But let's go. Let's get this started. So, for now, let's just start in this corner. So, these are easy. Right here in this corner, these are logs. So, we're going to go up with the log. We're going to go up by one, two, three, four. Okay? And now, give it a space of two. And in here, we're going to put two regular old cobble blocks. And if you notice, some of these, we texture them. So, I'm going to use cobble for now. And then, we'll texture them out with some stone. Okay? Cool. Now, here, we're going to go up again by four. Here, this is your door. So, we're going to leave that open. And then, we're going to do a little upside down stair right here of our cobblestone. Right about there. So, we get the door in. And then, on top of that, we're just going to go ahead and just put a regular old, co a regular old cobble right there. Actually, you know what? Let's do a, a cross beam right there. Perfect. Now, up here, we're going to go up again by four. This one, we're going to seal it off. So, just cobble it up, up to here. Three up. And then, cross beam right here. And then, up right here another four so that's your first layer and over here i'm gonna do another cross beam okay underneath this let's go ahead and put two cobbles just like that and if you want we can even texture it now let's do a couple little texture jobs for that i'll just throw a couple little uh, uh stones in here uh let's just switch maybe one of those up like that just a quick little texture job okay cool now <laughs> next up let's turn it to this side we'll go do the other ones in a second so for this one i'm gonna seal it all up I'm going to go three up with our cobble, and we're going to go up again four and cross beam, just like that. And if you want, let's texture quick right now. Something like that. Something simple. Just random pattern, okay? Here, uh, we're just going to go up one, two, three, cross beam. We're going to go up here again. Here, we're going to do another one. Fill it up, cross beam. And here again, fill it up, cross beam. So we got that look right here. Let me see. Yes, we, uh, we did that. It's perfect. Uh, now, right here, uh, we're going to do a one, two, three. Cross beam up, go this way. Back here, let me see. What did I do? A little win. I did a little window. I did a little window. I literally just built this. Uh, so let's just go up like that. Uh, and then here we could do. Let's do a stair here, a stair here. Uh, bring in some stone randomly like that. We can even do another random stone like here. Let's do one of these like that. Perfect. Okay. So we have that. Now, this little part, we're going to save this one for the chimney. So for now, um, just do this. For now, just seal this up. And we can uh, play with it later. Go down again, three, and go up again. That therefore, uh, and we'll set up this in a little bit. It's going to be uh, that nice little uh, fireplace thing we got there. Now for this one, we're going to put a door. Uh, so let's go up by three here, three here, upside down stair. Let's just use a stone. Why not? Cross beam, and then go up right there. Perfect. Here we could texture it again. Let's do a couple random blocks just like that. Perfect. Here we're going to go up again. Let's go up by three. By three, we're going to put a little window. So let's do a cobble stair and a regular stone stair. I don't know. Let's mix some of these up. Let's do stone, stone, stone. And then we're going to do another cross beam. Come up here. And then, again, come up here by th four. Cross beam again here. We're going to also seal it. Uh, let's just put random blocks again like we did. And then go here, stone, stone. That's perfect. Maybe one down here. Perfect. Now, over here, super simple. Let's just go uh, cr cross it. Well, hold on. Let's just do what we did before. Cro co cross it with cobble. And then do a little thing like that. And then here we're going to put a window. Uh, let's do stone and cobble. And then maybe mix a stone here and here. And maybe one down there. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. Now, we're done with our first level. Now, next up. 
but let's go ahead and come here uh this uh, right here let's come over here uh so from right here we're just gonna go up by one two three but i fell four again okay here we're uh, gonna be coming up right here one two three four again and then here one two three four again like this okay let me make sure let me see that thing yeah it looks okay let's um hold hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Oh, no actually hold on sorry <laughs> just give it a space of one like this right there give it a space of one right here like that so give it that okay perfect now another thing we want to do is we're going to cross beam here cross beam here cross beam here so we have this look let's grab our bone block and just gonna go up one two three facing down okay so you don't have that weird side of the bone block just like that and then here we're gonna go up again one two three give it a space in the middle one two three and then here we're gonna grab our dark oak here and there we got that look with it right that's so nice now come with me on this side we're gonna do it again we're gonna go up by one two three four cross beam again right here and then we're gonna do all of these bone block with no window just like that this side is not gonna have any windows okay cool we're gonna repeat that same pattern on this side so just go up one two three four here cross beam give it a space of one two three one two three four here cross beam that give it another space one two three four cross beam that and repeat the same pattern here so up with a bone block right here right here right here 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 and then again same thing we're gonna put two of those stairs just like that Look how nice. I love that. Okay, now another thing we're gonna do is just go up here, one, two, three, four, cross beam this again, and now we're gonna cover this with bone block again. There's nothing gonna go on. This is gonna be where your chimney's gonna go. So now in here, this side is gonna completely mirror that side, uh, but with one slight difference. So let's, let's just do this, watch this. So you're gonna go up on every one like this by four. Perfect, cross beam all of these right here. And now we're gonna put bone block in here. We're gonna put bone block in here. We're gonna put bone block in here and bone block in here. So we have that look actually. Let's see. Actually, no, hold on. We're gonna take these out in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, I just built it. And then we're just gonna do this right here, just on those. But we're keeping that look to it. So it has that simple in the back right here. We got this cool like that. And we got this little piece blank this little piece like that that is looking so cool so that's how it's looking now now one more thing let's go right here we're gonna go up again by four cross beam that cross beam this now here we're not gonna put anything again we're gonna cover this up and i'll show you now cover that up over here we're gonna put a little window we're gonna go up here up here with the bone block and again we're gonna do these two looks to it right there perfect look at that let's make sure we go over here real fast but we did put a window there yes we did all right now this is looking really cool now next up let's work on the actual roof and then we'll work on the outside detail parts uh but let's do the smaller roof first so this is a little small one here we're just gonna go about one two and three one two and three and then we're gonna grab slabs let me grab this slab right here real fast let's grab slabs and then we're gonna go ahead and put this little roof here this is for like an outdoor seating area which is really really cool i'm gonna run a line here and then we're gonna go up by two by two and by two do the same thing on the other side so we're gonna go up by one two one two one and two and on this side we're just gonna connect the two top pieces here and if you notice on the bottom, you have this cool little look to it like that. Okay, perfect. So that we got that little baby roof. And see, we're not going to put anything here because it's going to be co kind of covered up with this roof. Now, next up, let's work on this big old roof. So this roof is really awesome, but I'm going to show you how we did it. So let's start uh, slow. So starting on this side, we're just going to go ahead and run this line facing this direction of your cobbles, uh, not your, co your brick stairs. And then we're just going to keep going up keep going up in a regular stair pattern nothing too crazy we're going to meet up in the middle point of this which is going to be where the door is underneath which is right here that's the door and we're going to put a upside down stair and a stair like that okay let's do the same thing on the other side let's do it right here so we're going to go up right there keep going up making the same stair pattern we did just now just meeting up in the middle which would be right about here upside down stair one facing this way now this is the cool part we're going to start going down okay and i'll tell you where to stop we're going to keep going down regular stair pattern and eventually we're going to get to a point that the other roof is going to meet which should be right around there okay so we're going to stop right here at this block actually each leave it right there right there we're going to stop right at this line right at this line okay let's do it again let's go down like this we're going to go down like this and then keep going making the same stair pattern until we get to that one point where we're just going to stop right there just stop right there okay cool now this is what we're going to do uh for this roof here now we're going to do it this direction so let's come out here go out by one on that side and we're going to keep going this direction like that 
Now, we're going to keep going and we're going to meet in the middle, just like we did on the other one. This one will be right about the, there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And now upside down there and right here. So, you know, the middle part, it'll be this middle beam right up here in the center. And then we're going to keep going down the other way. So let's go again, down again, all the way down till we get to the lowest point, matching exactly what we did on the other side, which is right about here. And then watch this. We're going to keep going down right there. Once we get to that point, watch this. We're going to do this. Let's actually go down one more here. Go down one more here and now that joined actually perfect. So we're going to go down a little bit on that one. Okay, perfect. Now uh, let's do this for this side. We're going to go up like this. Watch this. We're going to keep going up. We're going to keep going up. We're going to make a slight modification in a second. I'll show you where. So we're going to keep going up. Don't you dare stop. We're going to keep doing it. Now, once we get to right about there, yes, we're going to stop. Now let's do a little upside down stair again. Let's do uh, this little, it's just a placeholder just so you know where the middle is. And we're going to modify that, but let's go down again and we're going to go down this way. Oh, ah, ah. we're going to go down. Hello. I'm stuck. There we go. Go down this way, this way. Actually, let's, let's actually stop right when we get to about right there. And let's go right there. Okay. Now let's stop right here. Now let's start joining these together. So we're going to go down like this connect okay go down like this and we're gonna go this way connect see how these are all gonna connect right here we're gonna go down this way here let's connect to the center and then we'll do the little pop-out sections but first off let's do this now over here we're gonna run this line right there this one's gonna go away drop that in there okay now let's do this one again and then we'll do the pop-outs after so let's go this way let's go this way and if you want you don't have to do those pop-outs you can leave it exactly how you see it uh, right here, just a straight line, but I'll show you to get make it a little more interesting. Uh, so now let's do this one again. Go down this way. I'm going to connect all of these bricks together and you don't have to use bricks too. You can use stone. You can use cobblestone. You can use any material. You can use wood if you want, but I kind of like how the way the brick comes out in this. I'm not going to lie. It looks really, really cool, especially on German germ pack, uh, but you can use anything you want. Uh, so now we're going to connect these here, here and watch this. This actually connects here too. Now this actually connects here too. And if you come here, watch this, this one will actually connect here too, right? Now take away that block and bring down this line, bring down this line this way. And now the only thing I want you to do, you see this one block looks a little weird. Take that out and we're going to put a full block right there. And that's all there is to it with the connections. Look at that. Everything is connected. Oh, that's so nice. I love this. I love this so much. Okay. Now next up. Uh, let's work on the little middle pieces here. So this one's easy. Uh, all I want to do here is go up right here, follow that same line, go up right here, follow that same line and go up right here and follow that same line. And then you can connect it all the way right there. Okay. For that. And then also grab your bone block and then go bam and then go one in here. Bam. Drop one coming down like this and like that. And then let's put our dark oak stair here and here. So we have that little pop out. Now let's come over here. Let's do it on this side too. Uh, same. We're going to go ahead, put the little bone block right there, put the bone block right there. A uh, little modification you can do here just to connect that, do that right there. That's perfect. Uh, and then again, we're going to go up in the middle like that inside here. Uh, we can actually just do a quick little beam right there on the top. And that connects those two. Now in here, let's do another go in here. Another one going up here too. Let's drop our dark oak, dark oak here, and then our bone block there and there. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Now come with me. We're going to do this one other side here. This one's really easy. We're going to keep repeating the same pattern again. So we're going to go up one, two. We're going to go up one, two. We're going to go up one, two, all the way up till there. And then here, we already know how to do it. But now for this side, uh, let's just do this. Connecting this going all the way up right there. This one goes all the way up in here. And now we're going to join it just like we've done on the other one right there and there. And then for this part where you really can't see, this is easy. Okay. Just put a, uh, a beam right there and then put our bone block in here and drop your bone block in there. Repeating the same pattern, just hidden a little more hidden on that side. And then two of your bones there and two of the dark oak right there. Look at that. How cool. Now let's work on one of the final pieces here on this roof. We're just going to pop out here. And there, which is just a couple of it's two up from this one. Get rid of this middle part. Get rid of this. Get rid of 
that. Okay, so we're leaving that here. Get rid of this one also and this one. We're just going to go up by two on this, two on this. Let's do a full block here. I'm going to use slabs for the same thing. Uh, and then we're going to bring out that stair. Bring out that stair. Now, upside down stair on both of these. Regular stair on both of these. Upside down stair in the middle. And then we're going to do a flip job right there. Look at that. And then connect these all the way down. Just remove that one too. Connect these all the way down. And then everything joins up with that slab on top. Look how amazing. Now, for this part here, I'm going to do two placeholders for now. So I can fit this going down so it doesn't look ugly. Uh, and then we're going to do another one right there. Okay, now watch this. You're going to get rid of the ones underneath. You don't need these. This is just placeholders. Let's drop in a dark oak right there and a dark oak right there. And that is your window for that side. Now, let's go ahead and repeat this. Super simple. We're going to do it one more time. So get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Get rid of that guy. These two are gone. We're going to put that uh, log going up by two. Log going up by two. Drop these two down. These two. Do that little cross right there. Bam, right there. Upside down stairs on both sides. Stairs facing down on these. As you get rid of these, you don't need those. Uh, and then going all the way down. Bam. Get rid of that guy too. Going all the way down like so. Upside down stair here. Stair facing this way and join in the middle like that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Placeholder block, placeholder block, and then go up all the way by three. One underneath, so nothing bad shows up underneath there. Get rid of the placeholders, and then we got boom and boom. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. That is awesome. I love that. Now, a little bit of details we could do is let's grab uh, this guy right here. We're going to grab this, and we're going to grab this, and then we're going to do this little thing. So come to the back with me. Uh, oh, and we also need trap doors. There we go. So for back here, really easy. We're going to drop one little line like that of slabs. Take that out. Oh, we're going to put that back and then go down like this. This one's super easy. Let's just put two of these cobble walls and then this uh, two fences on each side of our dark oak for our nice little area here. We're going to drop a little flower box action with some trap. Oh, no. With some trap doors. Oh, and all the way around like so. Close those off and boom, boom, boom. Now, that's our detail for here. Now, another detail for this side. We actually can put a window here. Actually, let's put a window in here. Why not? Put a little window right there so whoever's sitting out here can be seen by whoever's out there now for this side it's really simple let me make sure we're here real quick we did the same thing <laughs> we did the same thing uh let's grab this again hello slab we're gonna do the same thing again so right here two 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 rows of slab replace that and then come down this way uh, we're going to do two walls and two up from here, two up from there. And we have that little tiny little thing back there. Look how nice. Uh, another little thing I want to do is when we go all the way around to this side, uh, we're going to work on just a random bush action pattern. Uh, and then also we're going to do this little thing. Uh, so for the bush, you, you get the picture. We don't even really, really need to do it. All it is, I put fences in there. I put bush just in a random pattern just to drape down a little bit. I even put a little bit of um, some vines there. So it kind of looks like moss uh, growing on the side. So that's super simple and random just like that now let's work on this little pop out this one's really easy on this one we're going to just pop out two blocks like this actually let's do three blocks uh so, i mean sorry two too long <laughs> uh and then one side like that and then we're going to drop a wall here wall here uh, we're going to drop a wall here and here and then we're going to put this just a little added support because it's a, a big extension to that and then we're going to drop a slab and then drop two logs going like this fence these up around the corners and then also we're going to work on a little uh, a little something here we just go up by two and right here on both sides and we're going to do the same little awning looking thing right over here like that and then another one facing that way so that's a little overhang there in case you come out to the balcony you don't want to get wet okay uh so we have that super simple super easy uh and now this this is really simple too uh, let's grab I did these with stone I did these with brick and I did these with a uh, stair and then on the top Let's grab that little anvil and a little uh, slab. So this is super easy. This one We're just gonna go up. So we're gonna go up by one two three four five six seven break that eight nine ten eleven twelve ah, Twelve I fell twelve thirteen fourteen. I say fifteen. Okay drop a anvil on top throw a slab on the bottom and then down here, I'm just going to go up a little with it. Uh, let's just go one, two, three, four. Uh, what? One, two, three, four. And I think, did I go one more? No. And then one more on top with stairs here, stairs here. And then here we're going to go up by one, two, three, four. Um, 
I say three. Let's go up by three here and drop that. And then two of these on the side. And then here we're just going to randomly throw in some stone just for texture's sake. Uh, randomly. It doesn't have to be exact. Something like that. Just completely random. It looks pretty cool. And I think... Uh, that's all there is to it. You know, little things like the bush makes it really cool. You could just drape it down in certain spots. I usually like draping some down uh, right here where uh, the, uh, the the chimneys go. You know, just to make it look cool. Maybe bring some down from the top. This is totally random and it's up to you. Uh, as far as little other little bits of detail, uh, we can do uh, trap doors on everything where you see uh, one of these big brown windows like this. Right here too would be another nice spot. Eh. Right here, um, right here is another good spot for trap doors. The other ones I won't mess with. Like up here, you can use any glass too. I love the white glass. That's really nice, especially if, if it looks really cool with the uh, bone blocks around it. Uh, so, and then this one was not gonna. That's gonna be a door. I don't even know why that's. That was a window. That was a door to come out. Uh, and then we have doors down there. We got two entrances. We got a balcony. Space. Oh man, it's so much space down here oh so cool little examples you could do down here too is having like a little almost like a little table right here the way i did this one is super simple uh just something like that would look pretty cool or you can even go the other way either way just something like that simple uh and then uh what i did was just have two little uh, uh seats right here you could play chess or something i love that banner design i've been playing with some banner design that's super cool uh i might do an episode just for banners that'd be kind of awesome a uh, little potted plant over here on this side again mossy is totally random and up to you how you want to drape it down and you don't even need to put it you can make it clean like that they can make it clean if you want to make it clean and not put uh mossy on the side here you can just pop in a window pop in a window here Super simple. Uh, I didn't do interiors though, but I might save that for just one episode, just interiors only. But what do you guys think? The inside is up to you. Have fun, play with it. Uh, you got a lot of options when it comes to interior, man, but there's so much space, so much space. Let me just take a, a quick look, look at this. So much space, you could do so much with this. Three floors worth of amazing, uh, but I might save interior for another day. That would be awesome though. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's take one more little spin. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little tutorial. It was easy to follow. You can put this in your world, have fun with it. I got a lot of other builds coming down the line, but if you guys have any ideas of any other builds you want me to try out, let me know. Leave a comment down there and I'll try it out. And maybe on one of the future episodes, okay? Cool. So I'm out of here for now. Thank you everybody for watching and I will catch you on the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.